Hi everyone! So when it comes to anything creative or artistic, it can be really easy to do something once and when it doesn't work for you to tell yourself that you're just not good at it. it happens to me all the time and it actually happened recently when I was doing my herbology setup. I had done the Winograd's Wondrous Water Plants textbook storage box and I was, I had tossed it together, I was in a rush, and quite frankly, it looked like a brick. I didn't even really, I don't think I even showed it in my past video. It looked like I had just chucked something stone-like up on the shelf. But you guys reminded me that I should try again. And it reminded me of something my mom said when I was growing up, that being a good artist has nothing to do with getting it right the first time. Um, often being a good artist is about going back over and over and practicing and recreating until you get it right. So I have done that and I have made my Winograd's Wondrous Water Plants textbook storage box. Now I didn't start from scratch, I actually stripped back the parts I didn't like. Um, so some of this actually was working, I just needed to keep working at it. So to make this, the first stage I did was I took tissue paper. I scrunched it up to create sort of the edges along the spine and I also scrunched and crinkled some old tissue paper so it has more of a texture and I just used Mod Podge just to coat that and get that to glue down. Now I covered the whole thing and that was a mistake. What I've ended up doing then was I cut it back. Um, I cut a nice straight line and made that just the spine. So to make the cover I actually tried a few different ways but what I ended up staying with was a fabric transfer paper transferred onto canvas and then that was glued down. This was actually like an old laundry bag that I had. It was like a canvas cotton linen-y kind of texture. Printed off the label, make sure the canvas was larger than what the cover was because that way I was able to wrap it underneath so it has a nice smooth edge and then I just ironed on the, um, the book cover. I was able to glue that for the front and also the back, so it was pretty straightforward. Then just to finish off the spine so it looked more like leather, like an old leather, I grabbed more black paint and just really coated that, let that dry. Then I grabbed Mod Podge and covered that so it had more of a glossy finish. Then I grabbed a stamp, it was a slightly square, largish size, and I just stamped some gold and silver cross-hatched pattern onto the spine. To finish off the spine part, I had these brass corner pieces, I just super glued those on, and it just makes it feel a little bit more authentic. Now, to make the edges look more like paper, uh, to be honest, I didn't sand this back. I had used like a gesso um, just to create a bit of texture. There's lots of other ways you can do that or you can just paint it straight white. So what I have is a little bit of texture. I've got white acrylic paint that I went in with a little bit more of a beigey color, a bit more brown. Um, so I asked you guys for some tips on Instagram and you guys gave me lots of ideas. We had ones like using a fan brush and just cutting off some pieces and using that to help create those lines of the books. Um, you guys gave me an idea of using a big paint brush and doing more of like a dry brush, which I have actually tried at one point and I know that actually does work. Um, but at the time, I had also kind of just like powered ahead and just kept working. What I ended up grabbing though was the Edge AV metal ruler. Grabbed some black and brown paints. Um, in some cases I put some water on just so it's smoothed. And then I kind of just like pressed that in and dragged that across the edges. And that's what I ended up using for the edges of this book. So it's turned out pretty well, um, but I would definitely suggest some of your suggestions that you gave me. Um, there are many ways. You know, even another option is that we don't paint and that we take some Mod Podge and a printout of the edges of books and use that so it just looks more like book pages. That works as well. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I now have a herbology textbook to pop into my herbology toilet space and that's just gonna hide some of the little delicate items that I don't want on display. So there are two more projects I just want to share with you guys, so please make sure I post them. Um, the first one is I'm just going to make slug repellent, so the same label as the toilet spray. I'm going to make some eco-friendly toilet bombs um, just because I'm trying to reduce my chemicals in the house and that's one simple, easy way but I still want to make sure that my toilets stay really clean. So this is something that I'm going to add to my herbology toilet room. Um, and then the other thing that you guys did ask was, you know, can I 
I start sharing more of how I create my designs. Um, I am going to quickly pop up onto Instagram, just one quickly description of where I've pulled some of the things from, but I'm just going to quickly jump in and just sort of start to show sort of the, I guess the creative process a bit more. It's just going to be for you guys who are more interested in that. Um, but that will be coming hopefully in the next few days. And if I don't post, just give me a poke and just remind me just to keep going and get those videos done. Anyways, with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Toilet bombs, slug repellent toilet bombs. This should be fun.